guys, it's Brittany here with Bumblebee's Face Painting. I am going to be opening up and unboxing. Everybody loves an unboxing video. This awesome Fast Pro Shop Cam Kitchen Table that I just purchased. Um, let's crack it open and see what's inside. Uh, if you happen to find yourself on this channel and just like camp kitchens for like actual camping, then I have to say after reading most of the reviews, I uh, would love to take this camping if I ever get the chance. Um, unfortunately though, well fortunately for me, I'm actually using it as a face painting station for my um, decade long running face paint business. So um, let's crack it open and see what's inside. I'll try and explain all the pieces to the best of my ability and um, I'll try and get them on film and as uh, crystal clear as possible and kind of give you a nice little walkthrough. All right, let's get it open. Now with something this large, I'm hoping I can get this all open and all on video and you're gonna be able to see me. I know I'm limited on space here in my uh, kind of foyer area, but um, I've got my box cutter here and we're just gonna slice this bad boy open and uh, you only get one shot at this, so I'm gonna try and do it uh, the best that I can. Okay, so I have opened it up in the perfect position because the nice thing about the Bass Pro Shop version, it comes in carry bag. All your stuff comes inside this bag um, and they've packed the bag neatly into the box. Now for camping purposes, I imagine this is great because you've got everything all together, good material. Um, I still have the original bag from my first camp kitchen table. Um, face painting wise, I don't imagine many of you guys are going to be carrying everything with you all the time. Um, this does come with like a pantry bag, um, the extra shelf in the bottom, the wire shelf for the um, kind of right hand side. So I don't know if you guys are going to be needing to use all that all the time. Now if you're going to a festival and you want it all, you want every single thing you've got, bring it. This is, this is not a bad option then. but. Um, if you're looking to just do your hourly parties, you're coming in, you're only there for two hours, an hour, and you're, you're just, I just need to get in and get out, then the, the case with the legs, that's really all you're gonna need. That side table on the left does not come off. So as you can see here, this table doesn't remove. This one here, the wire one, it does. Um, so this table, you're always gonna have that extra side table. You do not have to deploy that, you don't have to pop that out it will actually just hang right on the side um so you're i mean that's 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 pretty awesome i mean if you if you don't want the extra space you don't need it and if you need it it's there attached um and the weight really isn't making much of a difference possibly only a pound or two um so all right let's get the bag open Nothing else is in the box, just your little pieces of styrofoam. So we're just going to uh, close that up and slide it out of the way. So bye bye box. All right, this bag is logoed just like the other bag, as you can see here. Bass Pro Shop, yeah, because who doesn't love bass fishing? I live relatively close to the ocean so I grew up uh, sport fishing and stuff for salt water not fresh water bass never really interested me give me some redfish some sheep's head any day of the week okay so the first thing you're going to notice we're going to get this bag open is the actual table right here it's perfect okay now as you can see there are two latches here um, when you pull this bad boy out, you want to make sure those are closed. These naturally over time are just will come out. Um, they will unlatch if it's bouncing around in there and jiggling around in there. So when you remove this from your car, when you are closing it and you're done for the day and you're going back to your vehicle, if you're, if you're moving it, if you're planning on lifting this up at any point in time with it closed, make sure those are 
good and tight. Okay, because you're going to open it and that lid's going to swing open and all your stuff's going to go with it. So just make sure that those latches are closed, just like any kind of craft and go or anything else. You want to make sure your lid is closed. Okay. Now, as you can see here from this bottom, this is the additional shelf, um, the wire one that is on the uh, right hand side of the thing. And then you've got under here the left hand side table. You've also got the front, which I really do like this particular um, brand because it is plain. It's so plain. It's so basic. Who doesn't love a basic bitch? No, I'm just kidding. But here is the lid. So you see, it kind of looks like stainless steel, I think. Just like a plain steel look. The Coleman, I think, has this kind of weird um, 50s like C shapes all over it. It's kind of a funky pattern. I am uh, a perf perfectionist. I, I want it to look simple and clean and neat, and uh, it's very smooth. It's wipeable, so if you're not ever in the mood to be, hey, I want to wrap it, or hey, I don't want to wrap it, I don't want to deal with that, this is clean enough, you can wipe it right off. I have not seen paint stain it or anything. I've never really had any problems with that, but um, let's see. Let's go ahead and take the bag out of it completely. Okay. okay, so what's falling out here is your poles. This is for your lantern, and there is a little, um, almost like a, a little metal dowel on the back of the table that this is going to slide into, and this hook is going to go well above the table so that you can add a lantern for your lighting and everything. It's a great idea. I hadn't really ever needed to use, utilize it in uh, my previous kit because I usually had a light bar or something hanging from the hooks or the paper towel holder that in that space um, just hanging right over the kit as opposed to up much higher. Um, I feel if you're up too high using the lantern, um, this lantern hook, you're going to get too many shadows. You're going to be crossing over in front of the light. I think having the light a little lower um, is better for, um, for us for face painting. Just gonna set that aside. Okay. I'm gonna remove this bag, just slide it out of the way. But as you can see, all of this will fit down very neatly and go into that bag. So we're done with this bag here. Again, nice big bag quite large, nothing on the inside here, and two relatively long handles, so fabulous. Let's set that on the sofa. Okay. <coughs> Turning it back around, as you can see here, we have the wire shelf. We're just going to pull that out a little bit. All right, so this shelf it swings open. You don't really need to swing it all the way open. What you want to do is when you start working with the legs, you really want to pull the leg that it's attached to with it. So it looks complicated, but in all reality you have, this is the actual kit leg. This, this is the leg that attaches to that wire shelf. We've got some beautiful directions here. I love directions, especially ones with pictures. And this is going to give you kind of a rundown of um, how you want to open that up. And we're going to say. So we'll set that aside as well. Now, right off the bat, I've said in previous videos, I don't use the wire side table. I really have never needed to use it. I just, it, it's got the nice solid one that, that really looks much more professional. So I've never really needed this wire one. And you can detach that now if you want. You can keep it on there. That's completely up to you. I feel like it's just extra weight. If I'm not going to be using it, I need to just remove it. Removing it will be pinching. So there are two holes on each side on the inside of these legs. You're just going to want to pinch down push down, it'll pop out of the one and slide out of the other. So I can put it back in, 
pull down, you'll fill the hole there. All right, it's in the hole. All right, it's in the hole right now. You just want to pull down, it'll pop out of the hole, lift out of the other one, and there you go. There's the wire extra side table is removed. Don't need it. Okay, so to extend this, it's very similar to banquet style legs or the four foot, you know, raising legs that you get where little four foot folding tables, those just pop into place. So now these legs are locked in. Um, you'll notice this one has black caps on the bottom. Um, this was a great little feature that I think is, it's, it's silly, but at the same time, I, I found myself actually using it occasionally. Um, if you're ever on an unlevel surface, you know, if you're on a tile floor, if you're on stone, concrete, it's not level, all you gotta do is twist those out and you get a whole half inch of, um, you know, actually closer to an inch of adjustability. So, you know, you want your kit to be level right on the ground and not wobbling all over the place like most, um, then that's, that's always great because I can just reach down, twist just enough until it kind of catches and then you're good to go. So now we've got these right hand legs, the right hand legs. And as you can see, this is the, this is the table that does not come off. Um, I'm sure you can get it off. It's really just rivets, but I love that table. This table, it, it's worth the extra $40. I don't know how many times I've just, it, it's been fantastic to use this, to, just to have that little bit of extra real estate. Um, Cause space is the name of the game and you want as much space as physically possible um, in, in this system. So, all right, we're gonna fold out these legs and I can see you've got some black bags here. Get that out of the way. All right. Okay, and you can just pop these legs here, pop. And there you go. It's nice and stiff and that's what you want with brand new kits like this. Um, so as you can see, there are additional legs in here. So yeah, that's gonna be a little odd, but I'm thinking if I could get it on the floor here, I could show you guys. Let's see, slide this out here. Now, I really never needed to use the legs with this. You absolutely can. If you feel like kids are gonna be putting weight on it, put the legs down, because all this does is swing out. And again, more brackets here, nice and stiff. And then these legs are adjustable. You can slide those down and they will reach exactly the height of the table. So you, this table is going to have a lot more stability. But for now, you can keep the legs folded right up under there. You wouldn't even know it had legs. And then you have this amazing side table. I mean, it is almost as ha it's almost half the size of the actual table. So, I mean, it's like I said, real estate baby, that's what you want. That's what you want. I want as much table space as possible. And it's a larger barrier between me and my line. I don't want, you know, a small case, you know, I will use the craft and go as an example. I see so many instances where you've got um, a chair and a craft and go, and that's the stopping point for your line. Those kids are waiting just on the other side or just off to the side. And, and I, and I feel like there's, that's not enough to stop them from walking around, from coming around, from, from interacting with your things. And to have a much larger, like a banquet table, a folding table, um, any number of larger tables, it's, it's really giving them um, a stopping point. Like, hey, this is my side, this is my space. My space is on this side, your, the line is on the other side. I will call you around when it's your turn. I tend to be more of a stern line keeper. I don't like people in my stuff. I don't like people touching anything. And, uh, but, um, all right, let me get my stuff readjusted. We'll stand it up and uh, we'll show you uh, what's gonna be going on the uh, inside of this. Okay, thanks. Before I breeze into the lifting up of the table, this is gonna be the pantry bag. Um, I just kind of said, oh, you're gonna have some black bags in there and that's what they are. Um, this has a zipper front and it has six hooks and you will find small holes here on this side table. They're gonna be three on the front side, three on the back side. This will just hook in there and hang underneath. Um, and it's fantastic for those long festivals, the long gigs, hour long, you know, you're gonna be there for several hours, you need 
a place to hold your cash box, maybe your um, snacks, drinks, whatever else, your cold bags, and extra paints. I mean, you got extra supplies in here, are you gonna need more stuff? Toss it in here. It does have handles, so if you feel like you wanna load it up, which I've done I think once or twice, where I just load it up with what I need, put it in the car, when I bring it to the gig, all I gotta do is attach it to the bottom of this little side table, that's where it goes, that's the only spot it can go. Um, you've, you've got it with you. So I don't think it's not really essential for the everyday birthday party where you're just in and out in an hour or two, but, uh, but again, those long festivals, you're going to be there for the whole day, 10 to 10. I do a couple of them or all weekends, you know, it's like, Hey, you're going to be at a festival for three or four days, load it up with everything you need. And then you're walking out the door with your bag and, uh, you're done for the day and you bring the bag back with every, all the essentials. And the kit can kind of stay behind. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to go with you every single day from a uh, festival or something. So definitely awesome to have that. So cool. And I believe when I had it before, um, I just blacked out that logo. <laughs> I didn't really need the Bass Pro Shop logo on there, so I just blacked that out with a, a Sharpie or a marker or something. So there we go. All right, so as you can see, we've got the table up. I noticed, probably some of you noticed, there is a Bass Pro Shop logo on the lid right here in black. I can tell you I use a cotton ball and rubbing alcohol. You know, even if you do glitter tattoos and you have little alcohol pads, wipes right off and it's gone. You don't even see it anymore and, and you know. So I'll show you first what the table looks like here on the side, extended. Pop them into place. Again, nice and stiff, which is definitely what you want. Um, all right, that's open. Now again, you can put some weight on this, but you don't necessarily want to without the legs. Put the legs out if you think kids are gonna be touching and leaning and laying all over this and messing with it. Um, otherwise, it's a great spot for my paint brushes. That's usually where I left my brushes out. A couple of sponges here while we uh, open the lid. So I'm gonna open it from the back side. You wanna swing those latches back. I don't know what all's in here. There we go. Let's open it up. Smells like money. Anyway, so you'll notice first, we've got this big foam wrapped thing. What is it? What could it be? This is the wire shelf, oh, which has now been reinforced. Ooh, I like that. Before, this did not have the extra, extra wide bar here. So there's an update, that's a pleasant surprise. All right, so as we unwrap it, you'll see it's just a long wire shelf. Get this out of the way. I'm gonna show that off for you guys. And it has this really thick metal bar here in the center, which they did not have on previous editions. Um, I believe I had the previous one in the garage over here, but the previous one was very flexible. You found it bending when you put any weight on it. So just to have that extra metal bar, that's fantastic. That really is because you don't want to use that side table or you don't want to use the pantry underneath. This is your storage. You'll notice there's bars here on the bottom. It fits right in the spot. Let's see. And then you've got a whole extra shelf here on the bottom for all kinds of stuff. Now, in my previous kit, I had a um, tablecloth that I ran around the base of it with just an opening on this side, you know, because of the table, I could swing it in and out. But um, that tablecloth kept all my stuff protected. So I could put my purse down here, my backpack, whatever else, cash box. Again, if I didn't want to bring the pantry bag, I put my cash box down here so only I can see it, only I know where it is. Um, because the front was one solid piece of tablecloth. If it was tried, if you lifted it or messed with it, it, uh, it would begin to pull off here um, from the Velcro. So I could always tell if someone was um, kind of messing around with it. But again, that's a pleasant surprise to have that reinforced bar there. Um, I mean, as far as camping goes, if you're storing anything down here, which in some of the ads, I think it was jugs of water and stuff like that, it was uh, 
always kind of getting warped. Like the weight was too much for it. So nice, pleasant surprise. Let's see here. So our next grouping is what we've got here. We have our steaks. Now the Coleman version does not come with these steaks. They are just flat kind of rectangular legs. These legs come with small holes. So these holes, the stakes are going to go right through those holes and you're actually going to be able to secure the legs to the ground. If you have a really windy occasion or you have kids, some kids, I get a lot of kids pulling on this or parents leaning on it and it tends to wobble like any kit. This is, this is not uncommon. Any kit will wobble like this. But these you can stake in the ground if not, if you, if you need that. I don't think I ever use these except for one time when I knew bad weather was going to be at a festival and I just staked them down, closed the lid, everything was on the inside, and I left it and then walked away. I was I, I got my stuff out of it that I thought was needed to be grabbed, the money, and then I closed it up and left it. So they're handy to have. You know, I don't think you necessarily need them, but again, four stakes, one for each of the legs. And uh, I'll include some photos of what the uh, legs look like, those little uh, kind of opening, it's like little tiny pipes you kind of slide them through. kind of slide them through. Okay, again, there's another logo in here. Same, same thing as for the front. A little bit of rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball. It comes right off if you have goof off, um, you know, and I believe probably even just straight soap would work. Um, here are your baskets. So these baskets, you get two, um, just like with the Coleman, very similar baskets. Um, I'm saying um a lot again, so I'm sorry about that, but they go in here. They're adjustable. You can put them on the bottom. You can put them on the top. You can put them close together, far apart, right up underneath one another, wherever you prefer. So those are your wire shelves. I keep mine, I think, right about there. Maybe I do this one on the top, and then that one's right in that location. I have enough space. I can put some stuff underneath it. Sometimes I put it too low. I can't even use that tabletop because it's, I need to be able to put something just underneath it. So you want to make sure again, this is the same bracket. This bracket is on the legs. It is stiff. It is a good bracket. It's locked into place. You know that lid is not going to close. This weird looking thing here is uh, your paper towel bar. So I, I've never, I don't think I've ever used it. I don't even know what I've used it for. I may have used paper towels at one time or there's kind of a, there's a paper towel holder on this side too, um, or a towel holder or something on the end of your little side table. Um, so I, you can use it on there, but never really needed to use it, but it's included just in case. For those campers out there, hanging paper towels right here, fantastic idea. Good, good on you, smart job. Now, Another, just, it's worth the money. This thing, this thing is worth money, I swear. To me, it is, because I close that, boom, it's done. Now, in the camping world, this uh, little side thing here, let's slide it down a little bit just to make sure I'm showing off all the... This, this is worth the money right here, because this no fingers in your stuff. I hate fingers. I mean, I'm sorry, but I just, I don't want your dirty ass little fingers in my things. I don't, I, it's bad enough I'm painting your dirty faces. You know what I mean? I can be mean sometimes. I'm sorry, but let's see. So this can be left closed. Now the downside, because there is a downside to having this. You cannot magnetize them. You can magnetize this section. Let me correct myself. You can magnetize it, but when you close your kit, you cannot have anything on that side. It would all need to be moved over into this section right here. That's the only real estate you can put anything that's magnetized when you have to close the kit up. 
when it is open, yes, be my guest. I believe I did magnetize all the way to this side and I plan on doing it with this kit, magnetizing this entire thing. Because if I have stuff in here, I'll be taking it out and putting it up here, whether it's glitter or whatever else, throw it up here, it's here. And that way when I'm done for the night, I'm popping it off, putting it in my bin, closing this lid, that little door there, it has a hole it locks into. So it's not bouncing around. You can leave it shut. If you need to be up quick and just leave it shut, you don't have to open it. But for me, that's more real estate, more signage space. So on my previous video, the entire front of my case is decorated. So I've got all this decor, I've got command strips, I've got chalkboard paper, I'm just writing all the details that they need to know. I get it, most of the time they're not gonna read, but they're gonna feel like idiots when I point it out. It's right there, why didn't you look at it? So this space I usually also do in, con I, I really just do contact paper. You can do the vinyl. I don't feel like I need to do vinyl just because um, the vinyl is going to be a little thicker, more expensive. Contact paper, you're not going to be tearing it as easily. I don't think it's going to have, there's not going to be as much damage taking place inside of the case as on the outside. When I'm loading this case up in the car and I'm fold, fold, everything's folded up, lids locked, latches locked, and I'm tossing in the car, I've got another gig in an hour, um, I'm going to put my chair in there too and something is going to rub up against something else. And I'll tell you, contact paper on the front of this is gonna tear. Um, just like with my previous case here, it has all nicks and gashes and all kinds of stuff where it's been damaged. So you want to maybe splurge on some vinyl, something a little more expensive and thicker on the outside. On the inside though, the contact paper, it wipes clean. You're not gonna have any sharp objects rummaging around in here, I don't think. You know, I keep my paint brushes all uh, gathered up and everything and so but um these hooks here you have let's see here you have six six hooks seven it's long one way over here you have seven hooks here the coleman has five five hooks um one i usually use for my bag of sponges which i keep way over here way in the corner because i just leave my bag of sponges to hang here um, i pull them out water my water always stays in the basin here are my water cups from my previous case my coleman that i'm using now water stays in there because if i get any spill if i get anything else it's confined to this tub which is removable so here's the tub i can take it out i can wash it with soap if anything happens if i spill anything it's removable i can take it and clean it um you want to try cleaning out a crafting though if you spill water in the bottom of that it's probably going to be a pain in the butt i can say that honestly um handle i put my towel in here just like with a lot of other cases that handle there is perfect you have your towels dry your hands off um i will say if you look at my height this is about almost if you lean back it's kind of sitting height practically like a very tall like bar stool almost like a bar stool chair that's about the height you're looking at. For me, it's about the upper part of my thigh. It is a, just a hair, a fraction lower than the Coleman table. Um, but I think the features you're getting on this, it's worth the extra $40 and it's worth that little drop in height. Now, one of the projects I'd like to do on this is leg extensions. Um, I think a lot of people have seen the banquet leg extensions where it's like a PVC pipe and you're making your own version. I really would like to try something like that because it's not something permanently attaching to the case. It's something you can bring and you've got it. You can pop them on if you feel you need them and you can take them off if you don't want to use them. Um, so I'm definitely going to be using that and uh, coming up with a way to make those. Um, something you might be able to even put inside. I, I don't know if that's going to work 100% or maybe something I can Velcro to the bottom and uh, keep with the kit all the time in case I need them. And in case I don't, they're tucked away somewhere and I don't have to worry about them. So. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching my video today. I think this about wraps it up. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of everything inside here, everything that it comes with, what you're gonna expect so you're not 
completely surprised when you open that box unless you like surprises. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and fold everything down and show you guys how it looks and then uh, I think that'll be a wrap. You want to pop those downward. And there you go. You don't really need to use that side table unless you absolutely want to, but it's great to have. These will fit inside here. Usually I hook one onto one another. Make sure your rings are all slid over on one side. I don't really keep that with me, so we're gonna leave that inside the bag. Um, of course, gotta have collapsible water bottles, uh, water cups, I've had these for quite some time. These are the uh, Faber Castell rubber cups. They are dark, but they are like a dark green. They do them in colorful series, but honestly, they always look kind of stained if they're any lighter than that. I keep my cups in there. Again, make sure your hooks are over. Make sure your door is closed and secured. And again, if you have any paints behind here, you want to go ahead and move those over. Pull the bracket towards you. Close. Now, here's a tip. Here's a tip that I learned kind of the hard way. I'm going to make sure your rack is removed just in case. Again, I'm super thrilled that this has been reinforced. So a trick that I learned, you'll find that these little rings, they hang down so perfectly that it will keep it just wedged open enough that you can't shut your case. And you're going to want to force it shut thinking maybe my stuff is just kind of sticking in here. But if you force it shut, you're going to warp the frame and you're going to warp the hooks. So tilt the case back. Tilt the case back. Go to shut it again, and you'll realize those hooks, they'll hang a little bit differently. And there you go. Now you've got it nice and closed. Lock it in place. So there you go. That's locked in. That case ain't coming up. It's down where it's supposed to be. Now for two things, I have a wide director's chair. So when I put my director's chair, usually what I end up doing with this is I put it up on top of the director's chair, lean it back, and then fold the legs inward as opposed to laying it down on the ground. Um, sometimes I'm not thinking and I've already put my chair away or for whatever reason I just put this on the ground instead, um, in which case you're just gonna lean it back gently until it rests, lean it back again, and then I believe you wanna do table side first. You can put that towel bar in there. Yep. Table side first, it's going to fit nice and snug right up against that basin. Clamp it again, close this side, and there you go. You have that beautiful handle. It's so much more lightweight than when it's completely filled, of course, but it also feels a little bit more lightweight than the Coleman version behind me. So again, thank you so much guys for watching. Um, I appreciate any feedback you guys have for me if you want me to film a different way if you want me to address certain things but um thank you so much for watching y'all have a wonderful day thanks guys bye